Hello guys and welcome to my channel. As you know guys, this is one of the video of the series of video that I'm doing here on my channel to create a drone right from the scratch for the aerial photography. In this video guys, I'm going to do a quick unboxing and a detailed review of this Runcam Mini FPV DVR. This is a digital video recorder for onboard recording of the video transmission which is happening right from your drone guys so guys as you know in in the market as of these days guys a lot of high power video transmitter does not come with inbuilt digital video recording so guys i'm going to install this digital video recorder onto my drone so in this video guys i am going to go through some of the technical specifications and features with this dvr has to offer so towards the end of the video guys i am also going to tell you guys how to connect this dvr when your flight controller only supports one camera and also guys i'm going to tell you how to connect this digital video recorder onto your flight controller when your flight controller supports two cameras so guys if you are new to assembling the drone ensure that you watch this video till the end so that you do not miss out on any important information or instructions that i have to share before we move further guys if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos let's get started as always guys before we can start with unboxing let's see what is there on the top of the box what are the information present and then we'll quickly unbox this and see the physical specifications so here on the top of the box you see there is a picture of this dvr as you can see on the top with the pin diagram and everything and then it says it is made by runcam mini fpv dvr it comes in this plastic box guys so as to prevent it from any damages which is also something really nice onto the back side guys you see the runcam logo and then it says made in china runcam dvrs so this is what it is there on the top of the box now i'll quickly unbox this and see the components inside so inside here you have the top logo in the cover first thing that you will see the dvr itself it, it came embedded in this foam packing onto the side so as to prevent it from any shock or damages during the transport so let's keep that aside at the bottom guys you can see there are more components that it came with some of the mounting screws and the sd card holder that it came along with it so let's keep that aside as well so you here you can see guys there is nothing more on the back side guys you have a qr code which you can scan to download the user manual and instruction guide on how to install this dvr if you want you can go through it guys in this video guys i'm going to do a detailed review as i told you and also i will tell you the wiring diagram so guys i will keep this box aside for now so here let us see what is there in this uh, packaging so in this packaging it comes with some of the mounting screws as you can see the holes are really small so it takes around m2 screws to hold this dvr onto your drone frame guys so ensure that you have a right place onto your drone frame to install this dvr it comes with this plastic m.2 screws mounting holes guys which will help you raise this dvr from the drone frame and then install it as you know guys it will be taking an sd card from the front so it ensure that guys whenever you install this dvr onto your drone frame this place is really accessible since you are going to also install the clip for the sd card holder so you will have to time and again remove these screws to remove the sd card and then put it back at the time of uh, flight guys so ensure that whenever you install you install this dvr at a place which is more convenient and accessible on your drone frame so these are the screws guys that it came with along with that guys as i told you it came with uh, the SD card holder guys this is the SD card holder small clip that is going to go on on top of your DVR guys like this and it is going to match with the holes that is there on the sides so that this SD card holder holds the SD card onto its place so that it does not fall off during the crashes or during the flight so this is what it comes inside the packaging let us see some of the physical specification guys as you can see this dvr is really small guys it takes around m2 screws to hold this dvr onto its place on the back side there are controllers only there is nothing more on the back side guys on the top as you can see it has an sd card holder which will be taking a micro sd card which can support up to 32 gb of sd card at a time to be able to record the videos directly on your dvr as you can see guys on the side there is a small switch this switch is used to start and stop the recording guys before you can start flying you can always hit this button like this and then it will start recording from the camera camera feed which is connected to this dvr guys here you can see guys as per the pin layout goes it has a 5 volt input ground video out and then you have on this side guys you have 5 volt out ground and video in and audio in 
pin so these are the pin guys which is there on the front side of this chip guys which will help you install this dvr onto your flight controller along with your video transmitter now let us go through some of the technical specifications and see the wiring diagram of this dvr on how to connect this dvr onto your video transmitter and how to connect this to your flight controller so guys as per the technical specification goes for this run cam dvr as you can see the pin layout you have 5 volt in and ground in and then you have video out and then you have high low 5 volt out and ground out and then you have video in and audio in it can operate from a voltage range from 3.3 to 5.5 this is the power in pins guys you can connect this power in either directly from the flight controller if you have a spare pin or you can use the 5 volt out that is normally available on your vtx or video transmitter so here you have video out that is going to go on to the video transmitter which will ultimately be transmitting that video signal which is coming out of this dvr and then transmitting it through the video transmitter so it has an encoder which is inbuilt which is mjpeg which will save the files of this video here in the format of avi the resolution supported is 640 by 480 in vga mode it is going to save at 30 frames per second in ntsc or pal mode it is going to save at 25 frames per second it has an audio in jack as well guys so if you have a remote mic or bluetooth mic that you want to connect or you have an audio output coming out of your video transmitter you can put it into audio in so as to be able to save the audio as well uh, which is being recorded by your video transmitter or your bluetooth mic it has a micro sd card slot as i told you guys it supports maximum up to 32 gb it has a dimension of 25 mm by 25 mm which takes to m2 holes and the mounting bracket is 20 by 20 which is required by this dvr the net weight of this dvr is 3.5 grams so it is really lightweight guys so now let us go through some of the features that this has to offer so as you can see guys there are two leds on this uh, dvr red and blue so red light is constantly on which says that it is powered on this is your power led blue light when constantly on this means it the uh, dvr is in standby mode and it is not recording when blue light is blinking slowly this means that the recording is ongoing and then when blue light is blinking quickly two times per second the micro sd card is full and now you cannot record any more video on this sd card so these are all the indicator light means guys and this is what you have on your dvr here you can see to start and stop recording guys you have a button here on your dvr to start and stop so whenever you power on the dvr it normally is in standby mode which means it is not recording when you push this button guys it will start recording and then it will record the videos in the length of five minutes each and save the file onto your sd card so this is super important guys to understand it is not going to be one full length video guys it is going to be a video in the chunk of five minutes each which is going to be saved in the format of avi so guys whenever you want to stop recording guys again hit this again push this uh, small button on the dvr it will stop recording if you directly powered off your dvr guys it will not save the last file which it was recording so if it is between this five minute range and you did not hit that stop button guys on this dvr you will lose that last five minute recording as you know it is automatically saving the file in the chunk of five minutes each so this is super important guys if you want all of these videos to be saved onto your dvr ensure to hit that stop button so if you long press this button guys it will format the sd card so ensure that be very careful while using this button short press start and stop long press is going to format the sd card and it will wipe up wipe out any video files that was there on this sd card so ensure that guys whenever you use this format function you would have already packed up or copied the file from this sd card onto your hard disk or local computer so this is super important so these are the functions which are offered by this dvr guys so guys now let's go and see some of the wiring diagrams which will tell you how to wire this dvr onto your flight controller and also you can control this dvr remotely via your remote control so this dvr guys has a remote control function as well here 
if you have purchased this remote control version of the DVR which is version 1.1 it will come with this H and L pad so high and low is a indicator to start and stop recording which can be connected on to any high low compatible pin onto your flight controller and then you can then configure this pin as an associate mode and then you can either automatically start recording or you can dedicate any control function on your remote control to start and stop recording so those kind of functions can be controlled via your remote control it is important to connect this high and low button onto your flight controller pin if you are not using buzzer for example guys you can use the buzzer minus pin so as to be able to control using the buzzer control that you have on your flight controller for example to start and stop recording which you can control right from your remote control guys so in my future videos guys when i'm going to install and configure on my drone guys i'm going to go through all the steps so as to be able to control the start and stop record function of this dvr guys so ensure that you stay tuned to my channel so that you do not miss out on my future videos so next thing is how to connect this dvr to camera and your flight control and your vtx let's go through some of the wiring diagram so there are two ways guys you can connect this dvr if you have only one camera guys ensure that your camera video output is connected to video input of this dvr so this is one of the fundamental connection that you need to make guys and then you have the flight controller in my case i'm using this metexis f765 wsc flight controller but you can use any flight controller which has the compatible function and then use the vtx transmitter guys i am using here for an example akk race ranger video transmitter guys but you can use any video transmitter normally has the same pin diagram guys 7 volt and ground for powering this video transmitter it has a 5 volt output and ground which i'm going to use here to power this dvr as you can see it can take around 5 volt in and ground which i'm going to connect to this 5 volt and ground so i'm going to connect this video input pin which is going to get out of this flight controller which is vtx pin on my flight controller which is video output which is going to be transmitted via on-screen display chip so it will have on the on-screen display functions and features but whenever this dvr is recording directly from the camera guys you will not have those text visible on the files which is there on the sd card guys it is going to be a cleaner video but whenever you view it from your fpv goggles or your laptop via video receiver you will get this on screen display information since my video out pin is going to get connected to my camera input and then it will go through on screen display and get it out transmitted from vtx pin which is ultimately going to be transmitted by my video transmitter so this is super important guys to understand if you want on screen display guys the video output coming as an input pin has to be from vtx so like i told you guys my ground and 9 volt is going to be the power supply of my video transmitter and vtx out is going to be the video which is going to be transmitted by my video transmitter and tx and rx pin for the smart audio so as to be able to control the channel on my video transmitter these are the pins that i'm going to use on my flight controller to connect now let's quickly power my video transmitter by 9 volt and ground and then i am going to connect my video output signal that is coming from my flight controller to the video input signal which is going to be transmitted from my flight controller and then you can see my flight controller has two camera option guys so i have connected only camera 2 to my dvr or digital video recorder so camera 2 input will go through my dvr get recorded at the same time it will have the transmission going to my camera input pin which will ultimately go through osd and then gets transmitted through my video transmitter and then you see i am going to power this dvr using the 5 volt output that is coming out of my video transmitter this is output to camera it says but you can either power the camera directly from the flight controller pin here 5 volt and ground and then 5 volt output from your video transmitter can be connected to power your dvr or vice versa so 5 volt output from my vtx is going to power my dvr and then ultimately my smart audio is going to get connected to tx1 pin on my flight controller so this is how you connect your dvr whenever you have only one camera there is a second way guys which you can connect this dvr when you have two camera functions 
but in this connection guys you will not be able to filter out the on screen display since the camera selection is inbuilt within the flight controller guys so here you can see my flight controller is capable of taking the video input from two cameras c1 and c2 but the switch to control uh, which camera signal is going to be transmitted out of this vtx is controlled inside this flight controller so i have no control to clean up the video before it is being recorded so here guys i am going to directly output the video signal which is coming either from camera one and camera two and then put the video in and then video out is from my dvr is going to be transmitted from my vtx rest of the wiring guys will remain same i have not shown here my camera connection but you can connect two cameras here and their corresponding power supplies which i will show you guys in detail in my future videos whenever i review a drone camera connection to my flight controller so ensure that guys you stay tuned to my channel if you want to see that video so let's quickly connect as i told you the only difference would be instead of getting the video signal directly from the camera the video output will be from vtx and rest of the connection stays exactly same so these are the pins that i'm going to use again from my flight controller and then power my vtx directly from my flight controller and then i will put the video in from my video out of my flight controller and then video out of the dvr is going to be transmitted out from my video transmitter rest all is the power function to power this dvr directly from the 5 volt output of my video transmitter and then you have a smart audio which is going to go from my video transmitter to tx1 pin of my flight controller so this is it guys this concludes the video i hope you guys like this video if you guys like this video please do not forget to hit that like button if you have any questions or comment please leave them in the comment section below i will try and answer as soon as possible if you are new to my channel and not yet subscribed to my channel please hit that subscribe button and click that bell notification icon so that you get the notifications from my new videos thank you guys thanks for watching and clear skies